Well, if he is not the greatest UFC featherweight champion in the promotion's history, he is certainly on the short list. That 13-fight winning streak that he put together at 145 pounds, likely something, DC, that will never be duplicated in this division. Yes, it'll be very tough because it's such a tough division. The guys that he had to beat in order to go on a 13-fight win streak was unbelievable. It was unreal to see the names on that list that Max Holloway beat. But the crowning moment was when he beat Jose Aldo twice to win and keep his UFC featherweight championship. And then he only topped that in the destruction of Brian Ortega. Max Holloway is one of the best fighters, if not the best fighter, 145 pounds has ever seen. And with respect to Jose Aldo, Conor McGregor, and anybody else, the UFC featherweight record books read like Max Holloway's Wikipedia page. We'll see if he can add to that total here tonight. Well, DC, you're not fighting tonight, but I know you're anxious as I am as Conor McGregor returns to the proven ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports, he transcends the sport of mixed martial arts, a guy that has a fantastic left hand. He's very quick. He's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly mm -hmm. is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Conor here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Holloway is two years his senior. McGregor will have a five-inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, Max Blast Holloway. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Here we go, round one, Conor McGregor, Max Holloway, of course, their first meeting. Oh! Opens up with a front kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Big punch lands over the top. 
How's he gonna follow this one up? So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Oh, nicely done there. Whoa! Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Big right hands there by Max Holloway. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are better at that move. Effective punch there by Max Blessed Holloway. Ooh, head kick lands. It's hurt. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he landed the right hand there. Cable is good right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet. Round two winding down. Saved by the bell. That's the end of the round. You heard the horn, and it came just as he was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. So, saved by the bell. Back to the stool. 60 seconds with which to recover. We'll see if his corner can keep his head in the fight. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed. Nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Round two, Conor McGregor. Ready? Versus Max Holloway. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. And lands the left there. Connects with the right. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No free piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. 32 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. And landing half the shots tonight, 50% the accuracy rate against Max Holloway. 90 seconds to go. Oh! Oh, he's in there. His opponent could get out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Slips the guard, lands the right hand. He slips that left hand. Nice punch, land. Sure, the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so important. Fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Opponent in a world of trouble. 
such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Holloway gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt oh! bad. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start with wow. And that's gonna do it! Oh! Woo! What a performance! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. We sent it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 28 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Max West Holloway. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence.